Hey, look at that guys, that's not a good shot at all. Let's fix this. What's up everyone, my name is Jacqueline Schultz and for those of you that don't know me and have never seen my YouTube channel before, I am that girl that sees stuff on the internet, I buy it, I try it out, I test it, and I tell you what I think before you spend your money on it. So I have a confession, I love TikTok. I'm like obsessed with TikTok, I scroll, I look through it. As a matter of fact, I have three accounts. I know TikTok is supposed to be for the young kids, but I am obsessed. And as a matter of fact, I have scrolled through TikTok and come across the things you didn't know you need off Amazon part 385. Like I've come across that thing so many times. And that is where I found my next product. Today, I am going to be reviewing the mini portable sealer. I saw this on TikTok, thought I needed to have it, I needed to try it out, I got suckered in. So I purchased it and I'm gonna try it for you and see if it's actually worth the hype. Before I open this up and take it out of the box and give it a go, the whole purpose of this bag sealer is there's a little tiny heat press that reseals any bags you have already opened, whether it is like candy or snacks or a chip bag, whatever it may be, it seals that bag for you. Inside this tiny little box comes the mini portable sealer in a bag. Ooh, ah. It also comes with two little pieces of paper. One of them is instructions, which I feel like I don't really have to read. I mean, I'm not a huge fan of instructions anyways, but I did watch that TikTok video. So I feel like I pretty much got it. This one says, caution, important notice. We are releasing an updated version of this product with improved effectiveness. We would like to send a sample to you free of cost. I didn't know there was a new and improved version. I guess I'll look up that one right after I review this one. So this little gadget right here is battery operated. It does not come with batteries, but luckily I have my own. You slide this cover right off, which by the way, it's not that easy to get off. Like I had to push it with my thumb, but it does come off. You need two AA batteries and you gotta look at the little symbols in there because it's not really obvious which way you're supposed to put them, but it tells you if you look closely. Done. There's also this little hook that slides on and off, but it does say on the directions that when you're not using it, you should be putting this hook back on because it will protect the heat part that seals the bag shut, I don't know. You're supposed to keep this on when you're not using it, but we are gonna use it, so let's take it off. Right here, there is a plus sign and there is a negative sign. Plus and negative. The plus sign is the heating part that's supposed to seal the bag and the negative sign is the part that opens the bag. Maybe I'll try actually opening the bag first since this bag isn't even open yet. Hmm. That didn't work very well. Let's try it again. I'm gonna already say the bag opener is not that great, but I mean, that's not what I got it for. Well, how am I gonna seal this bag now? It's like three different parts. <laughs> Let's see if at least this middle part seals. Okay, so it says in order to Activate the heat, you have to close it for three to five seconds first. So let's close it and pitch it shut. That should be more than enough. We stick it in. I could smell it. I smell it like burning. And you slide it slowly across. I mean, I don't even know how to test it because <laughs> the sides are open, but it sealed this middle part. Maybe I could seal the side shut. There we go. It's not pretty, but I sealed it. <laughs> I feel like I should go get scissors so I can actually try to seal it like a legit way. Okay, I got scissors, so let's try this again. This time it's gonna be a lot easier. Let's try it with this little mini bag of muffin bites. It's open. It's sealed shut. It worked. 
Oh, I am having fun with this thing. Okay, let's try it with a Cheez-It bag. I'm holding it down and now I'm gonna slide it through. All right, here's the deal. This is what I'm noticing is it's getting like super hot. So it's kind of melting the plastic. I mean, it is sealing it, but it's also kind of melting and taking off pieces. I don't know how I feel about it. It's still doing its job and sealing the bag. I have this open candy that's been sitting in my pantry. So let's try to seal the side over here and slide it down like that. There's no sugar coming out of it and this is sugar candy. So if my kids got this out of the pantry and turned it upside down, it would still be clean and there wouldn't be sugar all over the floor, which I guess is all that really matters. Why wasn't it melting the bags when I saw it on TikTok? Okay, does it work with a paper bag for oatmeal? I'm gonna say no, but I don't know. Am I gonna start a fire? Maybe. Moment of truth. Dude, <laughs> oh my gosh. It sealed the paper bag. I don't know why, I just thought it was going to be plastic would be the only thing that worked. But it actually worked the best on this paper bag, on the oatmeal bag. It is sealed, there is nothing coming out, it didn't melt it, it didn't burn it. This worked really well. Now I have a hot chocolate pouch. This is paper on the outside, but it looks like kind of foil. On the inside, it's a little bit thicker, so I don't know how this is gonna work, but we should give it a try. And slide it through. Hold on. It's sealed. No hot chocolate powder is coming out. It works on this bag too. Honestly, it works really well on the paper bags. Probably even better than this plastic bag. Even better than on this plastic kind of foil chip bag. But that can also be because I did these last and I kind of got the hang of it. Like it takes a little while to get used to how to do it, how long to hold it on, how slowly to go through the bag, but it's working. Last but not least, it came with these plastic bags. I don't know why because these bags are kind of like Ziploc bags and they have a seal at the top so you shouldn't need to seal it. But I did see an advertisement for this product where they had liquid like water in a bag and they were able to seal the bag through the water. So I do want to try that. Honestly, I'm a little bit nervous for this test because I may get water all over me. Are you ready? Clamp it down and seal it. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, it worked. Look, it worked. And there's water on this side. Let's do this side now. Go, 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 go. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah! Can you see the two seals on both sides? I don't know if you can tell. All right, so bottom line is we were able to seal all of these bags, whether they were paper or plastic or foil or whatever they may be, they sealed. And they even sealed if they had liquid in them. Some of them weren't pretty, but I got the job done. All right, so I am iffy on this when giving it a review and whether or not I want to give it a full thumbs up or kind of like a half thumbs up, half thumbs down because the bag opener did not work great, but the sealer did work and it did do what it said it was going to do. It just takes a little bit of time to get used to it. This to me is very useful for a lot of different reasons. Number one, I usually use those clips, those bag clips to clip my bag shut when they're open. Those make it so that my chips or whatever's in the bag does not last very long. It goes stale really quickly. Also, I have a huge ant problem, so ants can always get into my open bags even if I put those chip clips on them. And I have kids and a dog who are always getting into the pantry and the cupboard, leaving things wide open or making a mess everywhere, so this kind of solves that problem. But 
The thing that this would be a real lifesaver for is to go in your purse or your diaper bag if you are a mom. Because if you're on the go, or you're at the grocery store, or you're at the park, or you're at the beach, wherever it is you may go, you know if you have young kids, you bring snacks. And whenever you bring snacks, they don't typically finish the whole thing. They give it back to you, you put it in your purse, and then when you're looking through your purse or your diaper bag, it is like spilled everywhere and you have to clean it out same goes for your car if you have stuff in your car typically it gets spilled everywhere this would be a cool little handy tool to just keep in your bag to make sure that you don't have those spillages <laughs> those spills or that mess that ends up in your purse or in your car or wherever else but like always, I'm curious to hear what you guys think. So leave me a comment and let me know, would you give this little gadget two thumbs up, one thumb up, both thumbs down? I mean, would you buy it? Would you not buy it? Do you think it's useful? I'm curious, let me know. <laughs> Either way, I am going to include this in my Amazon shop. I will put the link in my description for you to go check out. I'm also gonna put the link to my whole Amazon shop where I keep all the items I have ever reviewed and all the products that I love and use on a day-to-day -day basis. And on that note, I am going to say thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys again next time, next week, next Friday for the next review. Bye.